us with our carnality. The human mind, the human mind is an entity, is an enmity against God. It cannot be subject to God and it cannot understand God. But there is a part of you that God has made called your spirit that if you will enter in the presence of God, he will open up your heart and mind to see things that you've never seen before. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you. Face to face mean through a cloud or a veil or a fall, but not literally face to face. No man in spirit or nature can withstand the face of God. Amen. We show him so much. Is this helping anybody? Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Listen, God had to dim his glory so that we can view his glory, but he didn't dim his power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If he, in other words, in order for us, you know, what we do when we go outside, Sean, is that so that we can see where we're going, we put shades on. Yeah. Amen. The sun has not dimmed his power. I mean, not lost his power, but we've just dimmed the light a little. And this is what man is doing. Man is dimming the glory of God in their life. They're dimming him so they can only see him a little bit. But God desires for us to see more than what we see. Amen. But we cannot see out of our natural mind. It says in Romans, it says that they that chase after the flesh or after humanity, don't worry about it. You will never be able to understand what's going on in your life. You will never be able to have hope in your life because your humanity cannot understand nor receive the promises of God. Amen. That's why Jesus said that every man must be born again. Yeah. Yeah. And born again of the spirit, yeah. not of the mind, but of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. And we got a lot of people that are sitting in churches today that are, that are trying to situate on certain things of God, but not all of God. Amen. Amen. We got people that are situating on church policy, but not anything Amen. about God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now through Christ, the scriptures state that because of the blood, 